It's been well over a year since I've played Nessus, and a ton of updates have come out over that time, adding new bosses, quests, new settler features, and one you can see right now, a graphics overhaul. So I figured it'd be a good idea to revisit Nessus and check all that new stuff out. So let's get started. Now step one, I need to get myself a nice house because I decide to play without the guide house this time. Now for this let's play, I will be playing on brutal difficulty, which makes the game much more difficult and survival mode. One neat thing about the survival mode is your food will actually spoil on you, so you can't just keep like stacks upon stacks of food on you. Eventually it will go bad. Now let's have a quick little run around this island. I want to see if there's any like abandoned structures with like chests or anything and or like any food, anything like that. I'm seeing some alchemy ingredients, so that's kind of nice. During the rest of my little run around the island, I found a few berry bushes. Unfortunately, they were not ripe. So I could not get any blueberries from them. But my little trip was cut short because I got distracted as I found a structure. Here's a structure. Maybe I'll get some food here. Oh, the archer guy's here. Nice. A hey, minus 10 max resilience. Increased critical hit chance. Uh, I'll throw it on for now. Health potion. That'll be useful. I'm going to have to remember what the button was for that. And a thing for the first boss. Nice. Now what I think I'm going to do, it might be a lot easier for me right now just to go ahead and set up shop in this little abandoned structure. I'm going to tear down all these trees. Just set this up as my main base for now. After a bit of work and accidentally crafting all my wood logs into enough walls to build a small town, I got a house set up just in time for the first night. I think I can craft my torches right in here, right? Perfect. That does not seem all that light. Oh well. Place it down. Here we go. We got a house. Now let's grab ourselves a ladder. I will put it right there. I hope no monsters come up from it now. Be funny if they added that in. Yeah, one thing I think I'm gonna do for this series, this time I'm thinking I'm just gonna go melee, which is a class I am not used to playing like at all. I usually suck pretty bad at it. All right, so I'm gonna risk it for a biscuit. We're gonna go outside. I'm gonna get some more torches and stuff made. At this point, I can't wait to set up a settlement and have someone chopping trees for me. I will definitely need a lot of wood just to build the settlement, so can't wait for that. Now, while I was out chopping trees and fighting zombies, which gone very smoothly. Uh oh, getting surrounded. It's the apocalypse. I eventually found the hunter and I figured it would be an amazing idea if we teamed up. I think I'm gonna hang around him. I might be able to steal some of his food from the animals he kills and he can help protect me. And he can kill me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, the hunter can kill ya. Don't stand in front of the hunter. He's a masked murderer. He will kill you. Shows no mercy, that guy. After finding out the hunter failed to take any hunter safety courses before becoming a hunter, it shortly became day, and I was getting very hungry. Now we got a few blueberries. That's not very filling, but at least we're gonna get some food in us. Ooh, let's shoot some rabbit. Do some hunting just like the hunter. I bet you that'll be some good meat to eat. Let's see what I need for like a campfire. That way I can cook up my meat. So again, I'm going to need the wood I don't have and some stone. Means I need a pickaxe. Can I make like a... Yeah, I can make like a wooden pickaxe with the wood I don't have. Okay, let's go get some logs. Get some logs and stay away from that hunter. I think he's out to get me now. Thought we could be friends. I won't be inviting him to my settlement. That jerk. Oh, I see him. He's... Killing all my animals again. He just shoots anything he sees. Evil. Alright, that should be enough logs for now. Let's go build ourselves a pickaxe and then we can get a campfire and we'll do some hunting. Pick a few small stones out around here and I see some more blueberries to nom on. There we go. Nom nom. And let's break some of these rocks. Yes, run squirrels, run. I am a big scary man. Run away from me. You drop anything? You. Nope, he just shoots anything he sees. Look, I know what this looks like, but I swear I'm not gonna be a murderer like the hunter. I swear. That there should be enough stone for my campfire there, so let's go make that real quick. Campfire, here we go. And let me just shove this right out here. Okay, it don't look like I can cook anything right now. So I'm gonna assume I need like a cooking pot. I could make a roasting station though, I bet you that'll work. There we go, now I can make some stuff. Perfect, let's cook up that meat. Plus 5% damage and spoils in 3 hours and 59 minutes. I'm assuming that's real time. Alright, now how much does this fill up? That filled me up quite a lot. The rest of the way, anyway. That my belly is full, I figured it was time to head underground and start getting geared up. Because running around naked is dangerous. Especially with bad hunters around. Hopefully this don't go bad. Light up around here so we have a little less spawns and all that. Oh, hello. 
There we go. Artifact might just go straight for gold armor and stuff, because I think that's the best I can get for, like, melee right now. That'll make me nice and beefy. I do need to find some iron, though, so I can make an anvil. Oh, there's, like, a crystal thing down there. That's new. Oh, there's actually an anvil right here. I don't even gotta craft one. Look at that. And I remember when I first played this, I swear fighting, like, the normal guys was a lot harder. I guess I still kind of remember how to fight them. Oh, this comes with a free bed, this place here. That's good. I could use that. The next time the ranger guy shoots me, I'll be able to respawn just at my house. That'll be nice. That is a lot of- there's three archers there, okay. Go over here. Kind of bait them around a little bit. Dodge and weave, dodge and weave. That keeper coming, archers. Now I'll take you guys on. Oh crap, I gotta be careful. It's like a constant stream. Perfect, there we go. That was a close one. That has a lot of guys. Okay, look out. I'm about to die. Got a few seconds left of healing. Drink up and murder. Ooh, they attack you as soon as you go around that corner. Let's say we're doing pretty good. Only one death so far and that was because of a betrayal by that evil hunter guy. Take care of these guys and get geared up. I, I'm just toying with like fate here. I keep almost dying. Let's go get a little bit of armor. And we got some cabbage. And we got some tomatoes and tomato seeds. Nice. While waiting for my gear to smelt up, I wandered around the island and found an interesting enemy that disguised itself as food. Wait, what? A stabby bush? What? Oh. Second death. And it seems that the developer added some troll things into the game. Okay, so that's good to know. That's a surprise, a stabby bush. Well, okay. He's not there anymore. Is that like a spirit mad at me for like killing a blueberry bush? Gotta keep my eyes out apparently. Not all blueberry bushes are blueberry bushes. Hey, you seem to be a normal bush. Yeah, I'm gonna be paranoid about bushes now. After it killed me, I became obsessed with finding it again. And I really want to find that blueberry bush again now. Murdered me once, but I still want to go find him. And so I kept looking for it until I found it. Now, I don't want to sound like a paranoid crazy person. But I'm going to be honest. This blueberry bush over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just hover over it. It's a stabby bush. I was going to say the pixels look different than regular blueberry bushes. And it does say stabby bush when I hover over it. So I'm going to try and fight stabby bush again. And hopefully not die. <laughs> Wish me luck. Oh, 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 oh. I got him. Nice. That wasn't so hard. When he doesn't sneak up on you, that's pretty easy. Oh, you can summon him! 16 summon damage, that's not bad. The more it stabs, the faster it goes. Does not use summon slots, really. Tapped at three bushes. So it doesn't use summon spot. Okay. Oh, okay, so it just stays there. Yeah, that'll be good for bosses. Not much use for it right here, though. It's a good thing I went hunting for that stabby bush. And I just realized stabby bush is probably also really good for, like, making automated farms. Because you just put your stabby bush in, you stand at a certain distance away, mobs spawn in, and the stabby bush does its thing. After getting distracted, I got some better gear and started up a quick few farms. Then I hopped back down into the cave. During my second cave expedition, I got the rest of the beginner crops. So corn and wheat. Now we won't be going hungry anytime soon. And I had a goal in mind. But right now, let's get all geared up. I want to get full gold armor. I want to get prepped for the first boss fight here today. Now the easiest way to achieve this goal I found was to fight an enemy called a caveling. Which basically runs away from you and has a ton of gold on them. So the best way I found to deal with them was once you throw a bomb at them. Sometimes it'll kill him in one hit, most of the time it won't. But after you hit him, you can just chase him down because you can tell where he is because of his health bar. And from there, just chuck another bomb at him or trap him in a corner and just melee him to death. But that is the method I found was best for getting gold. Now moving on, I did find one of those treasure puzzle room things and maybe got a little bit too excited to go explore it. Okay, you know what? Let's go do the puzzle room. And how did I not see that? Like, it is so obvious. I will take this, 
Like, just too excited about this. I just ignoring the obvious. Let's go. Let's do this. A puzzle room. So what are we doing? First things first. It looks like we gotta go this way. That's the treasure room. Arrow thing. So they, this will probably kill me. And it looks like the places we're allowed to stand are highlighted here. So, wish me luck. Where, where do I go here? Gotta be right there. Okay. So I gotta remember, not just when it shoots, because it takes a little bit to get to the other side. That was close. And this is getting harder as I go on. Yeah, we did it. Look at that. Oh, this ain't the end. Oh, spikes. Okay. It's like a wave. I gotta run at the right time. Okay. There we go. Look at that. We did it. And that completes one part of it. Now we gotta move on to the next bit of the trial. That gets faster and faster. Okay. There we go. Now it's really fast here. Next place I can stand is right here. I don't know how I didn't get hit there, but I won't complain. Okay. Are they kind of a line? I don't know how I didn't get hit. Nice. Oh, this is... This is too much paying attention for me. I gotta dodge the arrows and the spike. Hmm. I don't like this. Oh my goodness, I am not good at that. I just lost all that crap I got too. I'm gonna have to go back through all that to get it. Gosh darn it. Got all my stuff. All right, let's think about this. So, and this is hard on my brain. The well, first step here, then I gotta go here. And just back and forth. That's not so bad. We're doing it. We did it. Just sit there and think it through. That worked. Okay. Okay, next checkpoint complete. What does the pressure plate do? Okay, I don't really see what that does. Okay, I'm just gonna have to run and hope. I kind of did it. Okay, so it's like maze? Long delay in the spike, so I gotta run to one spot to the neck. I gotta avoid the trap. It's gonna be fun, so let's, let's wait. And I think I gotta go up. Come on, there we go. Spike, and up here. Now we go. There we go. There we go, run, run, run. Just made it. Okay, so where do we go from here? I think we're gonna go up this way. Yeah, go here, and then we go around here. Yeah. There we go. And last leg of the race, up around here, and just over the here. There we go. Avoided all the traps. Look at us. We're doing good. That is that all done. Okay, this is gonna be more of a pain. Okay, doing good. I don't got any potions to heal. I don't like that. Okay, I'm gonna wait here and heal up. I say as I keep going anyway. Okay, go up. Just be patient. Go when you know you can. Why you gotta do this? My brain don't pay that much attention. Oh, I did it. I did it. I shouldn't have done it, but I did it. Uh, I should not have been allowed to live there. I'm gonna wait here and heal up. I pretty much have to now. One mess up on that end part there like right here and i am dead so i'm just gonna wait here and get some cookies i'm gonna eat a cookie or two while i wait mm. okay i wake them at full health i'll have a second cookie mm. okay all right full health i already screwed up and that took half my health gosh darn it okay i'll wait i'll continue the wait fine by me i can tank two hits at the most. So let's hope that's good enough to get through here. So it seems to break like all of them once the first one hits here. So I think what you want to do is go straight and then up and then keep going this way. Let's so just go in kind of diagonal and then straight. There we go. Look at that. Worked like a charm. Perfect plan. All right, let's get all of our gold. Look at all that money. Money, money, money. Resilience gain. I honestly don't know what the resilience is. I'm assuming I'd assume that has something to do with damage. Lights up area around you. I would like that. Ah, we got another one. Gosh darn it. I will take the potions though. Those will be nice. After finishing the puzzle room, I continued with my caveling hunting. Then found myself a ranged melee weapon that throws rocks at my enemies. Heavy hammer. 18 melee damage. Attack speed 3. Yeah, we can throw rocks at people. Look at that. Throw a rock at this goblin. Give him a black eye. And from there, I had to empty my inventory because it's completely full. 
I headed back. Unfortunately, I was just short on how much I needed for the full armor set, so I had to jump back in so I could collect the last little bit of gold. All right, let's jump down into the mines and get some more goodies. Just gotta finish off this gold set. Oh, I see some gold in this wall. Nice. Oh, look. Alchemy table. I want that. I was planning on crafting one for myself, but I guess I got it for free. Now where's the rhyme? I can get you no matter where you go. I got you. There we go. Look at that. 105 gold now. Definitely have enough to finish off my uh, armor and stuff, but now it's just for the tools. Would be enough there for the tools as well though. And with that, I had enough gold to finish off my tools as well as the armor. But of course, I ended up finding something else I wanted to make, which also required gold. So I had to go get a little more for that. So the only other thing that I think I might want to get right now is this regen pendant. We got four out of the 10 gold bars I need. So I think I'm just going to go do a quick bit of mining and get that. But collecting the gold for that pendant didn't take all that long as I already had most of it anyway. I was just missing a few bars. With that, we collected all the gear I wanted to get. And there we go, we got enough for the regen pendant. A little bit of extra regen, that'll be nice and helpful. But anyway, I think that's gonna be it for today. We got ourselves some farms, so we got a little bit of food going. Got ourselves a nice shelter and got ourselves all geared up. Today, all that's left to do is we need to get our alchemy stuff, which means next time we're going to go do some exploring. Go find some new islands, get those sunflowers for the health potions. But anyway, that's it for today. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Till then, keep having fun everyone. See ya.